Hi there, this is Mia today, and we are going to be learning how to be drawing the Grass Quail Pokemon Rowlet. And, yep, here we go. We're going, to be continue, we're going to be going on right now. So, yeah, basically the color that I'm using is a straw color. I couldn't find the exact type of brown that you normally use on the Rowlet. It's, it's actually a little tricky, but I'm going to try and make it as dark as possible. But yeah, I know you're gonna need just some new colors to make a shade, but hey, this is the closest I got. So if you want to draw a Rowlet, you, you could use some different colors, you could just use this, because either way we're actually pretty good. It's also pretty good if you also want to use like one of those shady designs. Yeah, that's pretty good. Here we go, so my arms got a little tired there. Let's see. Sorry about the background, sorry about that. It kind of is pretty early though. It's relatively early, so I hope so. It's relatively early afternoon, I'll put it that way. Okay, now let's continue there. Sorry, I had to put a quick pause just to help me sharpen up my pencil. Like, and I'll sharpen up during the video, it'd be kind of a disturbance. Okay. Now, honestly, I got a little confused. I mean, not, now I know it now, but yeah, in the past, I got a teeny bit. I got uh, okay. Sm sorry about that. Small bit confused on uh, uh, yeah, about the eyes and all that, because you and you never really know. If you, I mean, you know, that there's some white in the eyes, white, white binocular-like shape surroundings of the eyes. That could be a little hard because I knew that immediately that was white, but you know, I got, I got a little confused which color, parts color brown and not, but now I know. So about this kind of humming there. Are you getting a good view? Okay, mm -hmm. sorry about that.
think that's pretty much done it. Oh, that's that for that color. Now we can try using some brown. Oops, how about that? I kind of dropped my tablet there. Okay. I was coloring that. Now, as said before, I'm going to be making a um, marker, a, like a marker pencil mix up here. So, yeah, so, yeah sorry about that. I made that be a little too dark. So I've made the beak a little too dark, but I know you can do some colors. As long as you can draw light enough, then yeah. I mean, I know that brown's gonna lighten up over time, so yeah, that that, that should be the correct type of brown. The brown should help it lighten up over time, so. Yes, yeah, so I, so I kind of see this. This should be a good brown. I mean, I know, I, it seems a little dark. But it's good. It's fun. Okay, we're good. Yeah, don't worry. That brown's going to be lightening up over time. I mean, next time if you want me to draw another Pokemon, I promise in the future I'll, I'll do the correct colors. But I, I did the correct type, I hope. But, I mean, yeah. I'm really sorry if I couldn't find the exact type of colors. But they, these were the closest I got to. Hold on a minute. Okay, now it's coloring that leaf. The little leaf bow tie that I like that Scarlet has. Um, I'm almost done. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, now I won't be talking much right now, okay? Yeah. I think I think that brown has started to lighten up a bit. Yeah, don't worry, these markers these marker colors will lighten up over time, so let's keep watching it. Just kidding, just playing around, just got all silly there. Okay, I think that's it. Yes, here it is. I think this is it for the cute little grass squirrel Pokemon. Okay. Don't need that. Sorry about that. I was talking to my puppy there. Okay, here's the grass squirrel Pokemon Rollet. Now I'll be, I hope I'll be nice people. Have a nice day. Goodbye.